begin, though, with the latest on that mystery at sea. The Coast Guard is searching for a mother of four who fell off a cruise ship in shark infested waters. ABC's Clayton Sandell is on the scene in Galveston, Texas. Ship is returning to port there. Good morning, Clayton. Hey, good morning, George. That's right. You can see the ship back here over my shoulder. It is coming back into port here in Galveston nearly 80 hours after one of its passengers vanished. This morning, the Carnival Liberty is returning to port, but without Samantha Broberg. On Friday at noon, friends of the 33-year-old mother of four on a cruise to Mexico discover she is missing. The crew puts passengers on lockdown, searching the entire ship. The cabin steward came in and said he was here to check the cabin, and they looked inside the closet, in the shower, uh, underneath the bed, and on the balcony. Then a check of the Liberty's video cameras confirms the worst. 10 hours earlier, at 2 a.m. Friday, Broberg is seen climbing onto a deck railing to sit, but falls backwards, 10 decks down into the water, about 200 miles southeast of Galveston, Texas. The boat holds almost 4,000 passengers. It's hard to continue on having a fun vacation knowing somebody fell overboard. By the time the Coast Guard is notified at 5 p.m., 15 hours had passed. We do know that we have, uh, uh, given the water conditions, a uh, probability of survival of nearly 120 hours. Now that is assuming that somebody is in a life jacket, floating and healthy at the time they enter the water. The water temperature is in the 70s, but Broberg was not wearing a life jacket. Coast Guard search planes scouring 4,300 square miles of open ocean find nothing. Most of us on the crew look at, uh, look at a search like this as though it were a member of our own family. But with no sign of Broberg this morning, the Coast Guard has now suspended the search. George, Robin. Yeah, that's sad. Okay, Clayton, thanks very much. Yeah.